If you're wondering what is the difference between 100 megabits per second and 200 megabits per second, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Yes, there is a difference between 100 megabits per second, megabits per second, and 200 megabits per second internet speeds. Here's a comparison of the two. Speed, 100 megabits per second. With a download speed of 100 megabits per second, you can transfer data at a rate of 100 megabits per second. This speed is considered fast and suitable for activities such as browsing the web, streaming high-definition videos, and online gaming. 200 megabits per second. With a download speed of 200 megabits per second, you can transfer data at a rate of 200 megabits per second. This speed is faster than 100 megabits per second and allows for smoother and faster downloads, streaming, and gaming experiences. Bandwidth. 100 megabits per second. A 100 megabits per second connection provides a certain amount of bandwidth, which is the capacity to transmit data. It allows for multiple devices to be connected and share the available bandwidth, but the speed may be affected if several devices are heavily using the connection simultaneously. 200 megabits per second. A 200 megabits per second connection offers more bandwidth compared to 100 megabits per second allowing for higher data transfer rates and more simultaneous device connections without significant speed degradation. Internet usage, 100 megabits per second. A 100 megabits per second connection is suitable for most average internet usage scenarios. It can handle activities such as browsing websites, streaming videos in HD or 4K resolution, video conferencing, and online gaming. 200 megabits per second. A 200 megabits per second connection is even better suited for demanding internet usage. It can support multiple users simultaneously engaging in activities like streaming 4K videos, online gaming with low latency, large file downloads, and other high bandwidth applications. Price. Generally, a 200 megabits per second internet connection may come with a higher price compared to a 100 megabits per second connection. The exact pricing varies depending on the internet service provider and the specific service plans available in your area. It's important to note that the actual internet speeds you experience can be influenced by various factors, such as the quality of your equipment, router, modem, network congestion, distance from the internet service provider's infrastructure, and the capabilities of the websites or services you are accessing. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let us know if we missed anything in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.